hi welcome back in this video I'm gonna show you how we can modify the data before validations and how we can modify the data after validation so let's get started first of all in the registration controller uh, instead of this validator uh, protected method let's use custom form request class uh, to make a custom form request class we can use artisan command psp artisan make me a request called register user request yeah we have already created that class yes now let me put this logic inside of the uh, inside of of register user request class let me remove this from here and uh, let's go to registers user spread and let's copy this register method and let's put inside of a register controller uh, we are not using uh, this validator so let's remove this and instead of request we will be using request register user request class register user request so let's pull this now we are importing here register user request class and then uh, let's make this true now let's test if this works let's uh, let me auto fill the form and then let me register yeah, this is working now we are using uh, register user request uh, class so in this class we can use different uh, method so first of all uh, let's use the method called all with keys null So first of all we want to validate uh, we want to modify the data after validation so we are gonna we are gonna do like instead of uh, some user may type their name in lowercase like this and we want to convert that uh, into uppercase here we are not doing anything So here we are not doing anything so like if they enter uh, their name in lowercase then it is lowercase here so uh, let's convert those uh, first later into uppercase data equals to parent and then all oh so we want to modify the uh, modify name so data name equals to uppercase words and then data name and then written data okay now let's try this let me make this lower this and and as well as lower this let me register yeah, now we are uh, making converting those lowercase letter into uppercase using uppercase word 
concern. So this method uh, is run after the after the form is uh, being validated successfully. Now let me log out. Suppose we want to perform, we want to modify the data before validation. Then we can prepare the data for prepare the data for validation using prepare for validation method. Let's try this. Prepare for validation. Suppose we want. Uh, uses if someone uh, didn't enter uh, like HTTP or HTTPS then currently there is a validation the website URL format is invalid so if we want to uh, modify the data before validation then we can use prepare for validation method so let's get started a website URL equals to this get website URL and if Spring does not start with Spring does not starts with starts with HTTP uh, and HTTPS HTTP plus or HTTPS then will merge that particular data with HTTPS this merge website URL with HTTPS and then HTTPS followed by sorry, website URL now let's try this suppose if we didn't enter http uh, in, in front of this then we are modifying that uh, website url with adding https in front of it so let's try this let me submit and let me register the new user so spring it's not my well, string class is not found so let's import that class yeah now we are using let me try this again yeah now we are successfully our validation is is passed as we are modifying the data here so we can check that in our database We are we added HTTPS in front of this URL. So I hope you like this video. Uh, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this. So have a great time. Bye bye.